Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues with four rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action will be Pete Podgorski. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left out of the red quarter, he's wearing the solid black trunks and weighed in at 222 pounds. Coming to us from Palm Bay, Florida, he has a professional record of one win with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sam Williams. And his opponent, fighting directly across from him out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks with blue trim and weighed in at 215 pounds. Hailing from Chicago, Illinois, he is undefeated with three wins and two of them coming by the way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Fez the Big O Okando. Once again, your referee in charge, Pete Podgorski, now to give the instructions. So uh, we're set to go with Sam Williams and Frez Okendo, a couple of young uh, undefeated fighters trying to uh, make a move upwards as uh, you see the tail of the tape brought to you by Bud Weiser as Sam Williams, a older of the two at 27 years old, actually laid off boxing for eight years after a moderately successful amateur career. Okendo with a reach advantage. This guy was a high school football quarterback here in uh, Chicago. Both these guys uh, rely on a jab and uh, finesse a little bit more than they do uh, the knockout punch, although Williams uh, reportedly has some skills. Fresno Kendall didn't have a very good amateur. Won the Golden Gloves here in Chicago four times. Fresno Kendall comes in here stone cold, incidentally. Is not yet broken sweat. on Williams is that uh, he has talent but does tend to see to be a little bit lazy in his training. He won his first fight, uh, knocked the man down in the second round and then lost the last two rounds but because of the two fight difference in the knockout, knockdown round, uh, he got the decision. He faded very badly in that fight. Does not look here, at least on appearances, to be in as good a condition as Fresno Kendo. Foreman never seems to have any trouble going to a Parents just can't be deceiving. Slow, gingerly pace to this first round, but a four round fight. Neither man would do much business. Sometimes it doesn't do heavyweights you know, by appearances any favors by having them follow a lightweight bout. One minute remaining in the first round of this scheduled four round fight. Rezo Kendall wants to make boxing something happen. He's a full time fighter. And, uh, as opposed to Sam Williams, who's a computer technician. And as you mentioned, his knowledge as far as training and motivation. He have an eight year layoff in the sport. He's an amateur, 165 pounds. So, give you an idea, he's at 222 now. I think the day of the fat and successful heavyweight is over. It was that really horrible period in the 1980s. We had a zillion champions and all of them mediocre, but now with guys in shape like uh, Tyson, Holyfield, guys at the very top, Lennox Lewis, it's different. End of the first round, a tough round to score her. Come to the second round. Sam Williams in the black trunks and Frizz Okendo in the right, blue piping. Much going on in that first round. Kendo may have had a uh, slight edge, I thought, uh, very by use of his uh, superior jab. It's a, it's a nice little stick when he, when he puts it out there, straight, pretty stiff. 
work, man. Let's work. seem to have a healthy respect for one another. I think you're right. That's the only difference in the fact that we have a contender. It's been used sparingly, but Williams is non-existent. sudden open up with a flurry at the same time and nothing lands. Now Williams could be trying to pace himself looking back on his last fight where he ran out of gas in the third round. He said he took that fight on one day's notice and hadn't been trained. So. Kendall raised in Chicago, born in Puerto Rico. Let's go. Let's Once again, the jab of uh, Kendo seems to be really the only difference between these two. I don't believe either one is that in power match. Kendo, when he tries to do anything else, he rushes that door uh, at Sam Williams. Uh, you know, I think rather than just rushing in the way he does it, throwing the right hand as he did there, is to follow the left jab with a right hand. It's a long range. I think it would be better because Williams is stepping inside those long lunging rights when he rushes out. Both the previous opponents of Fresa Kendo have uh, traveled into the tomato can category. This uh, Williams is, even though he's only had one fight, is uh, a bit of a step up. Round three scheduled for four. Fresa Kendo in the right and Sam Williams in the black trunks. And, uh, I kind of worried just by virtue of the fact that he's just doing a little bit more than Sam Williams. He's not doing much at all. Well, Kendall has a good left jab. We haven't seen that from Williams. Apparently trying to counter the jab with his own. I really believe there's not going to power punch land in this fight. That's a hand of one by Okendo as he throws the right hand and it's easy for Williams to just get right up there. He kind of needs to knock one shot to throw that left jab. But again, the same thing. I mean, it's a very obvious mistake that he's making. He's jabbing and then rushing at him and throwing a right. He needs to jab, stay at long range, and drop the right arm. Barely grazed the top of the head of Williams. Williams <laughs> almost got it in the left hand. Got the first man she got on the
after him. That was when he just ate up a good 20 seconds on the fly. And he was headed down if he didn't fall on the First knockdown was a good right hand. Yeah, he'd been missing right all night long. Missing almost every right that he threw. But finally he connected because this time he followed the left jab with the straight right. And then the follow-up left hand. And he just pitched forward, didn't he? And it really didn't look like he was going to be able to get up from it. He did manage to get up from that one. There were a couple of slips afterward. And then finally, at the end of the round, the stopping when he got hurt again. Fizzo Kendo is the winner. And we'll do that. Fresno Kendo is a winner in his fourth professional fight. He's now 4-0. We're we'll taking to Thomas Triber for the official dis decision. Here's Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the official time. Two minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. Referee in charge, Pete Podgorski, steps in and calls a halt to the bout, which will win her by technical knockout. Fres, the big O, and Kendo. The big O gets another big W. He is 4-0 now and has three knockouts along the way. Fresno Kimba, uh, that right hand was missing for a long time when he found it. Found it. 